Oh, it just as my headset shut off. I went live. There we go. Hello, friends. And also, not friends. And also, friends I haven't made yet. Welcome to Sock Stream Stardew Valley. I am playing with mods because I like it with mods. And if you don't like it with mods, then this isn't the playthrough for you. Um, but yeah. Oh dear. There we go. I think this will be fine. So I'm just trying to get my bearings really quick. Also, if you're here for min-maxing, you came to the wrong stream, my friend. Because I am purely aesthetic. Do I like how it looks? Hell yeah. Does it make sense strategically? Hell no. But things don't always have to make sense. I'm just really here to have fun. I was going to stream yesterday for Valentine's Day, but I wasn't really feeling well. So I spent the whole day in sweatpants. It was nice. Talk with my friends. Played some Stardew Valley with them yesterday. It was a good time. But as you can see, the first uh, mod you'll notice specifically is that I am going a little bit faster than usual. Because I have a speed mod installed that lets me move not at a sa snail's pace while running. It's very convenient. Somebody needed a potato and I gotta remember who it is. I think it's George? Oh dear. I'm just gonna skip right over this. Nope. Don't care. I'm also not a cutscene person, so if you came for the cutscenes, wrong stream. Yes. I did need to bring George a potato. This is George, right? Yeah. This old man is George. Yeah, he is. Perfect. Cool. Maverick's also here. He's, uh, chewing on something right now. So that takes care of that. I'm trying to figure it out. Also, my hair is disgusting. I don't care. It's one of those days where I just don't give a fuck. Like, I just genuinely don't care. Do, do, do. <gasps> Welcome Ooh. to the Cool Kids group. Thanks for the host, Kawhi. I appreciate it. Do, do, do. Um, another mod I have installed is one that lets me have more of these little guys floating around. It'll also show, um, no problems like, that's a lot of booty. Koai, how did you know my type? Do do do. I don't want to see how many viewers I have. Then it'll just make me sad sometimes. I'm gonna hide that real quick. Happenstance, really. <laughs> uh, a coinky dink, if you please. I'm also mildly concerned that Sockbot is broken. But we'll find that out later, because she just does her own thing anyway. Do, do, do. Now we're going to go experience another mod that I installed, so I don't want to fucking die while playing this game. We're going to... Um, I also got a mod that lets, like, when I pet my dog or cat, I get a buff. I get, like, a temporary bonus to certain things. It's mostly been foraging. I don't I don't know if there's other buffs. I haven't really looked into it too much. But I'm okay with it. Because he's a good puppy. Unlike Maverick, who's not a good puppy, who's a very destructive puppy. This this asshole, who you can't see right now because he's not um trying to jump on my lap. This asshole chews on everything. And uh, as much as I love him, he doesn't consistently chew on things. So once he's done with the chew toy, you never know when he's going to be done with the chew toy. Sometimes he's just done and that's it. And you can't do anything about it. And he won't chew on it ever again. <gasps> Dude, right? 
don't think I've ever gone for a legendary fish on my ghost deck play. That's disappointing. But, um, it bothers me so much. So here, I'll show you. I'll show you how this works. Watch. We're just, we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna fish really quickly. I just get one. I just get a fish. I just click and fish. Easy. Doesn't make me want to pull my hair out or cry simultaneously. Easy clap. My dog was concerned. I got my hot chocolate. Okay. This is also easy, but I actually want to click. I am. Um, I'm not cheating too hard in this game. I just have things that make my life a lot more convenient and make the game more fun for me. I'll work wonders because I think there's a certain legendary fish you can farm. Ooh, I am intrigued. Can't look at my light for too long again, otherwise I will go blind. Ah, God damn it. There, easy. What a die every time I come into the mines. One hit kill. Done. I can mine in peace. I wonder if, like, I feel like some of my mods will work with multiplayer, but some won't. So I always pull them out when I'm playing multiplayer with my friends, but I think I might leave them in next time and see which ones stay. And which ones are like, nah, non-existent. I know mods work in multiplayer. But I think the host has to have specific ones for them to work. So we'll see. Yeah, that could, yeah, that sounds accurate. So if the host has mod installed, everybody gets the mods. But if the host doesn't have mods installed, then nobody gets the mods. I think. hit break has also made my life a lot easier, especially when it came to clearing my farm. Which I don't think I'm done. I think I just kind of stopped caring too much about the aesthetic of my farm right now. I'm trying to get enough coin because um, I just spend all the coin I had on backpack. So I have maximum backpack because I'm a dirty cheater. down. I think this is okay. Right? Oh god. Peace. Give me bug meat. Okay. I just want to see if there's anything good here. I'm just gonna I'm free mine it. Or free mine it. I'm just gonna clear it and then go back to the top. And we'll check out my farm. I guess. I could just instant win this game, but then it's not as fun. You know what I mean? Like certain mods make the game too easy, but certain mods make it like easy for me. You know what I mean? And I like when things are, are my my pace. Do, do, do. And this is just my pace. Can't see shit. I'm kind of hoping for geodes, but maybe. Maybe it's just gonna be. I'm gonna luck out and get a, quite a bit of copper. Makes sense. It's not easy mode, it's more like no rage mode. Exactly. This is no rage mode, no anger mode. This is nobody dies and nothing bad ever happens mode. That's my favorite mode. Oh, I didn't wanna do this. We're just gonna leave. So I gotta go back home. It's like when I played Pokemon and I had to go fast. No, oh, hey. Hello. I can't talk to you while you're playing your flute. Hi, Sebastian. Um, I have no idea what he just said, to be honest. I wasn't really paying attention when he spoke. I feel a little bad. 
Not terribly bad. Gib. Gib unto me. What? Oh, shit. Um, wow. Let us get rid of that. <laughs> oh, you're Sonic running Pokemon? Yeah. I think I only marry a few cute girls in the game. Who is your go-to girl? Kawaii. Who is your, like, waifu for laifu? Because everybody has one. Everybody has one that is, like, their ultimate waifu. Don't worry, Sockbot. I'm drinking. Hello, bupper. Anyway. Uh, some of the stuff I donated. I have to donate that. That's good. That's good. That's sell. 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 Save. I'm going to put those away. I need one of those, I know for sure. Or maybe I don't. My go-to would probably be Emily, then Leia and Maru. Okay, that's cool. Leia's interesting. Her storyline was, I think, by far the one I could relate to the most out of all of them. Yeah. I don't even really need the berries. I'm just holding on to them. She's more relatable, definitely. Um, I've married Shane, and it made me sad. So I've decided I'm not gonna marry Shane. Um, I've married Abigail. Blue chickens. Oh, that would be an interesting benefit. Hello, bup. Good night, bup. Um, I think Harvey is my go-to when it comes to my waifu for laifu. Because I don't know, I like the doctor. I think he's very attractive. Even with his mustache. It's found 42 artifact spots. Ooh, ooh. Oh, hi, guy. Um, I usually do fruit, so we'll do we'll do mushrooms this time. Oh, I married Haley before too, maybe. I think she actually gets some pretty decent character development. Is the thing like she's not just the vapid blonde? So it's a very interesting storyline. You know what other mod I have installed? I have the no crow mod installed because I will literally scream and tear my hair out if I have to deal with crows in this goddamn game. F? No. No, don't feel bad for the crows. They deserve it. Not good. Crows are equal bad. And Phil. This is the only annoying part, is doing this stuff. Oh, thanks for the clay game. Oh, fuck it. I'll make it look weird. I don't care. But you know an easy way to deal with this and not have to water things one by one. Ta-da! Easy peasy! No, I mean the crows make me reach all the crime. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> I get it now. Done. Watered. Life. Completely easy. Is this easy mode? Yes. Sell and sell. What is a sorcery? Yeah. 
easy mode. Because Socks is a bitch. I could also make that go a lot faster, but it didn't work last time I played, so I'm kind of hesitant. Uh, so. No, that will go sell those to Pierre. The last thing I put in there. Nothing, apparently. Oh, he's not open today. Never mind, I have to put them in the shipping bin. But I'm pretty sure Clint is still open. Uh, I just need one more bar, so I gotta wait. Yeah, you dis you destroy that juice box. You you rip that shit to shreds. I'm so proud of you. You defeated the evil juice box member. What a good boy. I think the first thing I'm going to upgrade is going to be my axe so I can start getting rid of all the wood on the farm. I'll show you what this quest is. And then today might be a fishing day. That's not the quest. Bream? How do I get a bream? All right, Stardew Valley Wiki, don't fail me now. River, 6 p.m. Oh, okay, so that's a late fish. We gotta stay up. Today's probably just gonna be a fishing day then. Get out of my way. Penny, God. Do, 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 do. Hi, yes, hello? Hello. Upgrade. Um, what did I say I was gonna do? Ah, Copper X. So another mod I have, because I love mods. Mods make my life tolerable, is um, one that makes Clint mail me. Um, mail me my tools when he's done. Yeah, solo Stardew. Solo Stardew with mods, Loki. I'm having a good time. Look how easy fishing is in my game. I just catch them. I just get them. I'm pull my bag down. Look! Acquire fish! Look! This is fun! It makes me- This is- This is good for me. This gets my blood pressure at a reasonable level. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Only downside is no treasure chest. No, 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 there's treasure chests. You just haven't, you haven't seen it yet, but trust me. There are treasure chests. It's just, it's just as random. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll fish at the beach for a bit. I'm so sad. Don't be sad. Be happy. Oh, I'm sorry you're depressed. But did you not read the title of my stream? I also have a mod that automatically gets rid of garbage, so I don't carry it and it doesn't clutter my inventory. It's a good day. Loki's so sad. There it is. See what I mean? I still get chess. Oh, Maverick. There's my boy. Well, I'm marrying Elliot in my game with you and Emily, so I can't marry him in this one. Okay, bye. We could talk. Thanks. See you around. Come back soon. I can't get the bream until after 6 p.m. Anyway, so I'm not gonna. Have a nice chill day. Um, another mod I have. I know I'm talking about all the mods I have, like a braggy bitch. But another mod I have is one that uh I can't marry Emily and Loki in the other game. It doesn't allow for polyamory. That's illegal. In the Stardew universe. 
But no, I'm marrying Elliot. He's my boy. We're helping each other seduce our prospective mates, I say. Because they've already acquired um, lobsters for me to give my boy. Look at that max range. It's a, it's, they are, it's great. While I'm in the mines, slaving away day after day, getting us ore so we can upgrade our tools, they are getting me lobsters so I can get my mans. Yeah, I get to talk to Elliot once a week on Thursdays when I have my day off from the mines. Yeah, I'm getting... There's a lot of bug meat. Hello. Hello, Catastrophe. Catas... Oh, wow. Now you're hey. following. Thanks for following. Thanks for becoming an ankle sock. Hi, how's it going? So you can become the masturbator. Oh my god. This is... I know I didn't say it was a family-friendly stream, but it's not. Do you recognize me? My twin? I do. I'm gonna call you cat. Except not say it like that, because that's, that, that's a little too much emphasis on the air. And there he goes again. Goodbye, Steven. One day. Two good ones. Cat. Just cat. Cat. Kitty cat. And I dance 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 and I dance dance dance. Oh, you know, me and my friend were talking earlier, and you reminded me by popping in. But I've started doing editing streams when I edit the new episodes, or at least the video of um, Laura Olympus. When we get to the one very specific, I'm getting distracted because I'm talking. But when we get to the one very specific Apollo chapter, I'm not going to be able to stream that. I'm honestly debating on how to approach it, because it's a very sensitive topic. Like, even for myself, you know what I mean? So I gotta be, it's got to be done carefully. Like, it's a while until- yeah, ask Apollo. But the the scene where we all realize he's ass Paulo. Patreon chapter. It's not a Patreon chapter. Oh, maybe. I don't, I feel weird doing a Patreon for comic dubs though. Like I have my coffee set up, but you can also commission me to do random shit. My dog's barking, so I might have to let him out. Oh dear. One second, please. I have to let the dog out. Uh, let's. Wait. Is time pause? No, time is not pause. I must pause time. Don't look. Time is paused now. Time is paused. Okay. Put the dog inside. Maverick, you motherfucker! I return. Well, the socks is right now watching. Oh my god. The ankle socks will play. Oh, they're cute. My adorable little ankle socks. But I'll have to approach the subject with a bit of finesse. Oh, I missed it. I was drinking. I'm gonna catch one more fish here and then we've gotta make our way over to the river. So I can try to catch a bream. Violet. See you in a different game. But uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, that was fast. But I wanna catch more fish, so we're just gonna keep going. Also, I don't remember who did it. Evelyn. Is that one the old lady? I'm gonna figure that out. Oh, the dog's ready to come back inside now. It is. Guess what? I'm already best friends with her. 
Don't ask why. I had to get rid of some things. Okay, I'm gonna let the dog back in. But I must run back downstairs. Maverick! I have my dog. My asshole. My wonderful baby. Hello. Oh. Don't drop. Don't drink. Hey. Say hello. No. You don't want to say hello? That's okay. You good? You have fun outside? Did you miss me while I was at work? He thinks he's a lap dog. Or he can't do anything about this. Do you want to go down? There you go. Can you lie down? I don't have any treats for you right now. I'm sorry. Can you lie down? Lie down. Lie down. Oh boy. There we go. Now back to the game. I already gave her the thing, didn't I? Yeah, I did. And now we have gold! Ha ha ha. I like money. But I mean, who doesn't, am I right? Do do do. Goodbye, Maverick. I'm just gonna eat dinner. Oh, rest in peace, Loki. That's okay. <gasps> there! Hi. Hello. Hi. Did you die, Steven, in Apex? Uh, I'm gonna need a Jojo Cola for somebody I know in the future. Bye, all these fish. I died terribly in a horrible fiery death of dying. That's a fucking mood. I would like to die the exact same way. Oh no, sorry, I did you. Why did I keep you? I don't know why I kept a herring. I already put my dog today, right? Yeah, I already put my dog today. Uh, be proud of me. I actually took... Oh, I can upgrade another tool! Cool. I just gotta wait now until my other one comes back. Queen of Souths! I tend to save all my gold stars for the festival. Ooh, that's smart. I learned radish salad! Yay! <laughs> that was gross. And I apologize. Because that was also loud. Thank you. Look at the sniffles. Let's see. I want the broth me my most nannies. The sardines, but I think that's because I have a lot of them. That's not terrible. The anchovies. If I had more of the gold star anchovies, I think it would have been good too. <sighs> I wish it wasn't so dark out so early. Still. Because then I would take my doggo for a walko. But I worked all day, and then I came home, and I was like, I'm too fucking tired. So here we are. Not walking my dog, and I feel bad. Do do do. I'm saving all my gold star vegetables. 100% for sure. gonna annoy me, but it's fine. Boop. Uh, how many days do I have left this season? I have to go 
check. Oh. Because I might buy some more parsnip seeds. Just to... No! Don't eat parsnip. But I'll probably go buy more parsnip seeds. Now Ooh. you're following! Thanks for following, Mog's POV. I appreciate it. Let's just see. I'm gonna bring those because I'll crack those open and then I'll go donate that. I don't know what else I can do right now. I'll just put that down. I could probably make something. Um, I don't need a sprinkler. Ooh, a tapper would be useful, but I don't need one yet. I don't need it right now. Hello. Hi. How's it going? I'm gonna have to donate that. I think that's it. I think that's all that I put aside. Worms. Yay, copper. Copper? I barely know her. Doo -doo. We are playing Stardew Valley. And it's modded. Oh, I got some pasta. I, the, a red plate is a pasta, mind you. I don't know why it's a pasta. I was kind of hoping for some trash spaghetti. If I'm being honest. I'll give it to Pam. Maybe I think it's Pam's birthday today. May 18th. Do, 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 do. Let's see. It is Pam's birthday. I don't know what Pam likes. He's weak, arms heavy. What's in the bin? Trash spaghetti. Oh, people were too close. I didn't want to risk it for the biscuit. Um. She's at Jojo Mart right now, yeah? Ah. I'll hold off on going to see Pam because I'll, I'll see her in the saloon later today and then I'll just give her a beer or something. Because I can't go in there until like noon anyway. Let me in, Pierre. Let me in. There we go. Hey guys, you know what's great about this cutscene? Nothing. It's, it is farmer me. Thank you for recognizing me. I appreciate it. Let's see. Let's see what kind of... We'll buy both of these things. I didn't realize he like... Is this... Four days. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm just trying to figure out. Well, there's definitely, a l wait, maybe. 28, 29, 30, that's a little close. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25. Um, I'll grab those. And maybe one, two, three, four, and ten parsnip seeds, and then we'll call it a day. Too bad Brit isn't an option in Stardew. When I think she'd hit me with a chancla. She'd just come in and attack me. Mmm. Kawaii. Is today one of Brit's streaming days? I ask, making weird faces. Now I have seeds for one stuff. Grows if I have time. Um, see, I'm digging. I'm not really digging the floor. I'm digging the walls, so I might put this in a bin. Do, 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 do. Hello, everybody say hello. I think so, maybe. I know she doesn't do weekends and Mondays, but I'm not sure about Fridays. Okay. We'll find out next time on Brit Ball Z. 
That doesn't sound right. I take it back. Um, I'll put this one here. This is where I can put all my home stuff. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna do some stuff. Dragon Brit Z. Next time on Brit Balls. Next time on Socks Can't Say Heckin' Words. I'm trying not to swear so much. Mostly because I can't swear at work, and if I get into the habit of just kind of casually swearing. Welcome to the Cool Kids Group. Thanks for hosting it, I appreciate it. Yeah, heck. Heck is a bad word. But, despite the place of my work being... Ah, I can't break anything. Fuck. Damn it! Heck! I give up. I've already given up. I'll just swear. I don't care anymore. Didn't last very long. Let's see. I'll go fishing. I'll have to go back to the mines eventually. But not today. Yes. Give me fish. At some point, I need to befriend the homeless man so he can teach me how to make sashimi. Linus. He has a name. What did I get? More geodes! I'm gonna have to pop so many open. Yes. The one true Linus. Boop. I can hear Steven crying softly in the background as I fish without the minigame. Bam. God, this is so much easier. But he doesn't have a blanket. Oh, I fucked up. A little too early. A little too trigger happy. Damn it. We're just gonna go to the beach now. Because I hear the whoop and my fingers automatically like, that's the noise. It's not the noise. It's never the noise. He has a tent. Who's to say he doesn't have a blanket in his tent? He's like, partially homeless. Yes. There we go. Do, do. Uh, no, because I don't usually go in the tent. Because why would I enter a homeless man's tent willingly? Jesus. Look at all these little worms. Look at all the stuff I'm getting. Yes, give me things. I have a song stuck in my head. And it's literally just swearing. The whole song is just swearing the song. But it's stuck in my head regardless. I have no idea what this means, by the way. Funnily enough, he's homeless by choice if you ever seen this town heard of him. I haven't. I didn't know he was homeless by choice. That's interesting. I'll have to go buy him coffees. I can't wait till I'm capable of making coffee. There we go. The only fishing minigame is the length of my... I was gonna say rod, and then I realized how that would sound. Watch his 10 heart event one day. It's great. It makes you love him more because he's so innocent. Oh. 
Oh. I'll add it to my Stardew list. Wait, I see bubbles. Oh, how the fuck? I can't reach all the way out there. That's just a tease. Yeah. I think we'll just go stream for about two hours today. And then I might call it because I do have a little bit of a headache from work. A little bit of a backache. Just because. And then I won't hear the sad noises of my dog laying in his crate when he doesn't have to lay in his crate. Do -do -do. So thank you, Sockbot. You're a good bot. Alright. We gotta go to the bar. We gotta go see Pam on her birthday and give her some liquor. So I'm gonna I'm gonna buy quite a few beers. And uh because that's another mod I have. One that just lets you give people gifts. Because a two gift a week limit? Excuse me? Uh one, two, three, four, five. I will purchase five beers for Pamela. Hello, Pam. Yep, that was so easy. Oh my god, that was so easy. <sighs> god, I love mods. Life is good. Life is good when you mod video games. Life is easy. Breezy, beautiful cover girl. Um, pretty sure I need one. Hold on to y'all. I need one of you. Hold on to you. Bye bye to you. These can go in, I think. I think tomorrow my thing will be done. Friendship is the best way to go. Excuse me as I play with my nose ring. I love money. I love when this game gives me money. I thought I was about to have a cutscene. That went really slow for no reason. Ah, <gasps> oh, whatever. <gasps> Okay. Thank you, Pam. Oh, sure, Jody. I'm pretty sure I have a cauliflower I can bring you. Oh, look at all the parsnips. And those are done. Man, easy. Like Diva says, is this easy, Mom? Not you, but definitely you. Because I think I'll be good. I think I might be cutting a little close. But I think it's fine. Probably. And then... Because I don't want to be bothered. And then I'm going to go bring Jody your cauliflower. Um... for this game, even though I usually have it turned all the way down. Ugh, I'm gonna need a I guess I'll fish. Nobody's oh, open. How shame. 
My finger twitched when I heard the noise. That a fish was like nibbling. Like I felt it spasm. Shit is best at the spawn though. He has the saddest backstory out of like they're like the saddest route I find. Like it, or, it just makes me feel, okay? I just have a lot of feelings about Shane. Okay? I had to like stop playing after a specific scene. Yeah, it's a mood. Let us settle together. Yes, because he, he's not allowed to drink beer anymore because he's cleaned his life up. And I think, I don't know if they fixed it, but I feel like after you have that moment with Shane, you shouldn't be able to give him beer anymore. You know what I mean? The one where he decides to like sober up and get his life together. Hello, lady. Thank you. For the money. And then we'll go get a better fishing rod, cause yeah. I think I can afford it. Oh, we'll, we'll see if I can afford it after I upgrade my pickaxe. Cause I do wanna do more cleanup at the farm. First, we're gonna process these geodes. I don't remember what I have and have not donated. I'd love to stream Stardew Valley multiplayer, but I get real tired really easily. I'm very just physically and emotionally drained from everything, so it's like hard for me to commit to specific dates and times. Which is why my stream schedule is super inconsistent if you didn't know or notice. Do -do -do. Hello, Wormies. I'm just gonna go check on the calendar. And we should be hunky dory to go. Is that Jody again? Damn, Jody! Oh, so Sunday is gonna be interesting. Sunday? Sunday is gonna be interesting? Why is Sun. Oh! Oh, I know! Cause you're, you're, yeah, yeah, Sunday's gonna be interesting. I, it clicked. I'm like, whew. Cause you saw the preview, right? Where it has Artemis. Or am I just like talking out my ass at this point? But Sunday, whew. I am, um, I love Hermes. And I feel like if Hermes knew what Espalo was getting up to, he would not be cool with it. You know what I mean? Also, Pokemon D&D. There we go. That too. Sunday Lore Olympus updates. So I get... <laughs> There's a lot going on, man. I'm very tired. But yeah! Lore Olympus! But yes, Pokemon D&D. I'm trying not to look at my light bulb again. <sighs> Fuck. I am just... Nervous. I'm excited, but I'm also scared. Ugh. Right? Did you read the latest chapter where her and Hades just had that super cute heart-to-heart? -heart? Um. Cause I'm like, damn. Girl. Relatable. You big boy, you make your own decisions. Am I that obvious? I just want to know what the fucking letter says, to be honest. I just want to know what's in there. I want to find out what could possibly be in that letter to our good friend, um, Hecate. I, I'm always in between calling her Hecate and Hecate. But I could be pronouncing it wrong both ways. Yikes. 
Do 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 do. Yeah, yeah. The letter. The letter. And we're not gonna find out next week. More like heck, Kate. Heck, eight. Yes. It's a chain mail letter. <laughs> I'd be sad if it was actually just a chain mail letter, but I don't think so. Because Persephone. Oh, man. Persephone. Just Persephone. Just Persephone. I love Persephone. She deserves so much better. She, I like, I, I want there to be a way for her to, like, be able to afford school, but not have to be under the, um, the eternal maiden, like the, uh, the vow of eternal maidenhood. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's not what she wants. It would, it's what Demeter wants, man. Let my girl live. Let me, let her live her life. Let her live her truth. I'm an eternal maiden. Oh, Kawhi. How... Um... That's what I'm looking for. How pure of you. Yeah, get rid of all these trees. I don't want any trees in my game. Fuck trees. I feel like if Persephone talked to her about how she was feeling or like explained to her what her brother did, she'd be understanding. But also like, I'm scared she's gonna get mad at Persephone, but I don't think she will because she recognizes, hello puppy, hi, good boy. She like recognizes that Demeter is just a fucking helicopter parent. You know what I mean? Like, she recognizes that there's a bit of a flaw in Demeter's parenting method. Just a small one. It's a little baby flaw. Um. But I don't know. I don't know how Artemis is going to react. When slash if she finds out what her bro did. Because, like... She, uh, she ain't with that kind of shit. You know what I mean? She does not fuck with that shit. <sighs> I just want- I can't do any of the rocks because I sent my pickaxe to be built. I just want Persephone to be happy and love. But I also recognize that she's still young. Like, I, we all know what's endgame. We all know Hades and Persephone are gonna wind up together. That's... That's it. That's the, that's the story. That's what's going to happen. But all this stuff that's leading up to it is just making me... Making my heart explode. And I wanna know what the... F like, what's going on between... Um, Zeus and Thetis? Or Thetis? I'm probably saying her name wrong as well. But like, their whole dynamic? Because... I just... I don't know, man. I want to know what Zeus and Hera's deal are, like is. I know what their deal is in the mythology, but I want to know what their deal is. This is notorious for not keep- Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Just, the fact that her and Minth are friends too is just a lot of coincidences lining up together. I also have this weird feeling that the one stripper we saw in um 
in the back or in the reasons why the brothers are banned from going to the strip club. I wanted to say that was mint, but looking back and analyzing a few key elements, uh, aka her baubles, I don't think it is. I think I was just like doing some wishful thinking. But I would also like to know how Hades and Mint met. Like, <sighs> I'm just, there's a lot, man. There's a lot. And it's a long format story. It's a uh, long format storytelling. So I'm just, I'm just too eager, I think. I'm too, I'm too needy. I'm too greedy. I'm too wanting. But yeah. Minth was a birthday stripper from Poseidon and Zeus. Yes. I accept this headcanon and you cannot... Uh, unless it's stated. That's it. That's that's what I'm going to assume is happening. Um, I've been going for about an hour. I think I'll do... I think I'll do one more full day. And then I'll call it quits. On this stream. Thanks, Pam. And then tomorrow, I might... No, tomorrow I have D&D. Never mind. I also have D&D tomorrow. I have D&D a lot. Okay? It's really like Dungeons and Dragons, man. But I'm waiting for... I think... I don't know if he DM'd me back because I haven't gotten a chance to check it. But I'm waiting for one, one person... Hey, don't call me a nerd. I'm waiting for somebody to message me back because he mentioned a date... And I don't know if I got the date wrong or if it's just like an innocent mistake. I'm hoping it's just like they said the wrong date because tomorrow is Saturday. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to have overbooked myself. I'd be sad if I had to be like, sorry, I can't do your thing. I forgot that I said I was going to go do this other thing. I just feel like an asshole, to be honest. I don't like feeling like an asshole. Do, 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 do. You are my friend. All those can go in there, and all those are gonna get sold. Yeah. But, did I not? Did I not? No, I'm just not gonna plant anything else. The only thing I'm gonna toss in there is this stuff. And the fish, and I'm just gonna get that's gonna go too. There. All set. And I gotta water my dog really quick. I'm gonna chop down a few more trees before I head over to Piers. So it's not strong enough to predict those bad boys yet. Don't call me a nerd, you nerd. You were just about to be excited for... Hold up. You were about to be excited for Pokemon D&D. Excuse you. because I'm off Sunday so I don't have to like think about work at least again until Monday but that also means on Saturday I can have a drink which makes me happy because I don't I know I'm not going to be driving anywhere on Sunday I know I'm not going to be really doing anything on Sunday I just have to make sure or make sure I just have to rather check and see if my parents Slash when my parents need to ride home. Oh, somebody subscribed to my YouTube. How sweet of them. I should probably get a different notification for when somebody subscribes to my YouTube, but thank you, the obsessor one. I appreciate it. Uh, on a side note, since posting the Lore Olympus comic book, my uh, channel growth has increased exponentially in a short matter of time, and it scares me a little. Or rather, 
It scares me a lot. <laughs> I'm like, who are all you people? Where did you come from? But I've also decided that once I hit the 2,000 subscriber landmark on YouTube... No, I don't monetize my YouTube videos. Because I feel a little... Because I didn't make the comic, and it feels like I'd be profiting off of somebody else's hard work, so I'm just like, nah, fam. But uh, I'm gonna start doing reviews and stuff, and hopefully putting other videos on there that I can monetize and don't feel uncomfortable monetizing. But until then, it's a uh, it's a thankless job, but somebody's got to do it. Where is I going? What am I doing? I'm just running in circles. Oh, let's go unlock the forest. If you ever want you to partner for me, stuff, <gasps> maybe. I would actually enjoy that a lot. I'll have to maybe do it for like specific comics. I know I'm writing the reviews out first and I'm going to have five or six written before I start recording. So at least if I'm putting out like one review a month, I can feel happy or not feel happy, but like I can feel content knowing the work is the quality of work I want to put out. You know what I mean? Oh, I can't get in there yet. Never mind. My ex isn't strong enough. But more so... I want... I'm just trying to do a few other different things. Like, um... For the intro, I know I'm working on making it, which I might stream myself doing at some point during the week. Is finishing up my little character drawing. I'm just... I can't animate. Yeah, I will, for sure. Like, I can't for the life of me figure out just how to animate. Hello, want to welcome my throat. Oh my god. I'm not having a good time. And I'm having beverage. So my little robot cannot yell at me for not having beverage. But, I don't know. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out. Because I know I can do it in After Effects, I think. Like, I know what I want, like, how to do it. I know how to do it in After Effects, and I know how to do it in Premiere Pro, but I was... Don't know if it'll look the way I want it to look. Because I have my little chibi person sleeping. I can animate a little. Still noob. Me too. Um, but I did, like, a flat drawing of the little chibi sleeping. Um. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, something was posted in Lore Olympus. My bad. I had to double check that really quick. But I'm just gonna like animate her mouth opening and closing, like when you sleep, so it goes <gasps> wallpaper engine. See I was since I pay for Adobe products, I've been trying to figure out Adobe Animate and Adobe Character Animator. But it's hard and it gave me a really bad migraine. And the YouTube videos were not helpful at all either, so I was just kind of like, ugh, fine. This is enough. I'm done. I can figure this out later. So I might try to do what I want to do in After Effects and then see if it produces the same kind of effect that I'm trying to go for. Because um, essentially for the intro, I'm going to have it be like... Um, like a TV, like a TV coming on, you see me sleeping, my mouth opening, and then it switches to text of sock socks, and then the TV shuts off. But I might get rid of the, chi the little chibi sleeping, and I might just have it flash to sock socks, or have the TV for the end card. Like, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to edit the videos. So once I figure out how I want to edit the videos, then we'll be good. But until then, it's just a lot of trying to figure stuff out on my end. But I have one review written. I've got I've got one review written to completion. Uh, I reviewed Under the Aegis 
and it wound up being really long. So I got to see how it flows when I actually record and see how long the recording is. Because if it's too, like, I don't know what the appropriate time span would be for a review. I don't know if, what, like, what time is too little, what time is too much, what I should keep, what I should cut out. So I might have to have somebody look it over first. Just draw 100 versions of the mouth. One closed, one little more open, and all that, I guess. That's true. That should be easy enough. We'll see. I'll figure it out. I always do in the end. Maybe not right away, but I always figure it out. <sighs> Man. Also, I don't know if you can tell I'm very sinusy right now. I cannot breathe through my nose. Um, my allergies were violently activated today by people. By people who came in smelling strongly. And that's about it. Maya, I don't react well to strong scents or strong animal scents. <laughs> Socks allergic to people confirmed. It's true. It's why I spend every moment I can alone in my room. Like, I have an aunt and I used to dog sit her dogs for her, but she her house is also a little unkempt and they're husky so they shed a lot and i would just inhale dog fur and i can't do that like i couldn't it took three or four days for me to start actually being able to breathe normally again so i kind of had to be like i'm sorry i love you i know you pay me but i just can't i need to be able to breathe Maverick's okay. Maverick doesn't actually activate my allergies too much. But I am allergic to dogs and cats. Uh, it's not a severe allergy. It's mostly sinus-based. But if I get dog fur in my lungs, like I did when I was husky sitting, it was not a good time. <coughs> it was a lot of coughing, a lot of feeling like crap, and a lot of headaches for a really long time after. I love dogs, so it's so sad. Another thing that I can't really stand is the smell. It's a very particular odor, but it's the odor of people who live with animals, but they also don't take care of their animals. Or, like, they let their animals, like, poo and pee wherever they want in the house. You know what I mean? Like, it's a very... Like, like cat litter boxes that have been left, left alone. Cat litter boxes that have been left and built up over like uh, months and months and months. And I, I immediately feel ill. Like that's the kind of smell that makes me just like I have to leave. I have to leave the space when I interact that smell, which sucked because in high school I had a friend and that was her house. They bred animals and I don't think they should have been but when you're a kid you don't know any better so you just kind of like go along with it but I couldn't go over there as often as I wanted to so I, I told her I'm like I, d I don't really feel comfortable there's a lot of animals and they make me I lied I lied to her I didn't want to say your house smells disgusting and I don't want to spend time there because you don't want to be rude you really don't but sometimes you gotta, to save yourself, sometimes you gotta, or like to make people wake up. Oh dear, sorry, I'm just going through my notifications. Oh, there's a lot of Twitter notifications. Hey. There we go. I'll go through those after. I don't need to look at those now. What is worth 50% more? Oh, gatherer, excuse you. Yeah. Yeah, people should take care of their pets. And they don't, and that makes me so sad. It's that there are people who are out there that just see their animals as a way to make money and don't take care of them and don't take care of themselves. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know how to deal with that. My same, my best friend's growing up house was disgusting, covered in stuff. The entire family were hoarders and never cleaned. Yeah. It's not a good time. <gasps> Hello, babies. Oh, okay. You lie down. 
I don't know if he's visible. Let me try. There he is. Can I take a nap? You got tired of being alone. I'm not going to... Sh I'll do one more day, because all I did was... Uh... Oh, thanks, Dad. All I really did today was farm. So, I'll do one more day, and then I think I'll call it for the night. Because I do have to... I do have to start going over the gourmet. Now Aww. you're following. Thanks for becoming an ankle sock, Montu. I appreciate it. Um, not only do I have to go over stuff relating to the other comic dub I'm helping produce, but I have to make sure I have everything in order for when we cast people on Saturday. Because I have to make a slight adjustment to when the casting call closes, not so much the date it closes, but the time it closes. Um... Because that bad boy is shutting down Saturday morning. So by noon, I want to have, like, the characters cast and whatnot. Yes, I saw, um... Oh, I'm not a sock, I'm a mitten. Vantu means mitten, my language. Oh, that's cool, I didn't know that. That's neat. Thank you for sharing. You did me a knowledge. Um... I saw. I have nothing to do with cast. Like, the only thing I have to do with casting in this project is sending CJ, or updating CJ when there's new auditions on casting call. And if he has, or if he's torn between voice actors, I insert my opinion. And that's it. I am, like, exclusively going to be video editing. Like, he's going to be running the show for Gourmet Hound. I am just there to video edit and maybe provide some extra voices. And it feels so good. I have relinquished, con relinquished, bleh, relinquished control. And I'm just riding the wave. But I'm excited to work on it. It's another comic that I really like. So I'm probably going to be doing editing streams for that as well while we work on it. I know CJ and I need to iron, I iron out a schedule for scripts, lines, and um, video editing and audio editing. And we've kind of got one going on for Lore Olympus. Because I give the- I give you guys- Oh, still I have your list- I did! I'm gonna listen to them all again. I'm gonna go over them, the ones from the email again myself, so I can like, I guess, agree or like accurately agree or disagree with his opinion. You know what I mean? Because he sent me a preliminary list and then I'm having him again Friday night review it. Like what, like tonight. I'm gonna message him and I'm gonna be like, is this for sure who you want? Is this 100% exactly what you want for everybody? Because once I, once I do this, there's no going back. Um, yeah, Th that sums it up pretty well. I don't know why I thought there was more. And then there's also a few people that he wants to have on like, on hold for roles in the future. So I'm gonna have to send private messages that way and ask, so I know you weren't cast for the role you auditioned for. Would you be willing to come on to the project as, um, as an on-hold actor? Uh, CJ has a role in mind for you in the future, but we just weren't casting for it at this time. You know what I mean? Jelly beans. Put all of those away. Yeah, we jelly beans. Well, if you need one a mod for this or whatever, as we get more people, I'd be happy to help. That would be cool. There's also, at some point, I'm probably gonna invite you because I have like a separate discord server I have the discord server that's public for people who follow me on twitch and people who follow me on youtube for join to join and then I have the one where I work on projects and I didn't want to have them be one in the same you know 
because I wanted one, instead of having channels that people couldn't access, I just wanted, like, a whole separate server. So things would be nice and neat and clean and I could, like... I wouldn't have to worry about accidentally posting somewhere I didn't want to post. I didn't have to worry about not setting the right permissions and, uh, you know, didn't want to give myself a migraine. But I will keep you in mind. I would definitely enjoy having some more help with the Discord server in general, just for when it comes to making roles and keeping an eye on things and making sure people are posting in the right channel and that people are following my goddamn guidelines. Because I've been lenient. Admittedly, I have been lax. But now with CJ here, he's, he's like, he's keeping me on track to being the best I can be. And like for producing the best content that I can produce, you know? So it'll be, it's a process. We're, we're learning as we go, we're figuring it out. We're, we're getting there. Um, I'm trying to figure out what else I wanna do though. My friend reads creepypastas and I think it's really interesting but I don't know if I wanna read creepypastas or really bad fan fiction. And I'm, when I say really bad fan fiction, I mean really bad fan fiction. Oh yeah, I didn't know you had two separate servers. I meant mostly for the new VAs and stuff. But I just like to help out. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, I didn't mean to swear. To ignore that. Ignore the words that came out of my mouth. But yeah, I'll definitely... My immortal... No! No! I did that once, I'm never doing it again. Because I would just start... I'd just start laughing. I just wouldn't be able to take it seriously. It's just... It's so bad. <laughs> It's so bad. It's such a bad fic. None of the characters are cohesive. None of the plot is cohesive. Like... I just... I don't want to shit on people for their writing. But at the same time, oh my god. But they're gay! No! No! No. I don't, I don't subscribe to this. Un unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Oh, fuck. Just thinking about my immortal makes me like, ugh, cringe. And I'm like, I know I'm not the best writer. And I have produced some cringy fic in my past that you guys will never find. Ever. But, I like to think I over-explained and over went into detail. Not catastrophically went under detailed. She should have just written her own book. Like honestly, she should have just written her own story and just taken Draco Malfoy. Draco? Draco. Draco Malfoy as an inspiration. This is how I know it's almost time for me to end the stream. Oh, my family's home. You know what? <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. Oh my god. Everybody's going to bed. We're all going to bed. I'm going to bed now. I think this is a good stopping point because I'm losing my mind and they're screaming. But thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you for hanging out. Bye!